Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 17 career mode. This is episode number 87 and we start today's episode off with a game against Braunschweig here who currently sits in the relegation zone in the Bundesliga. And with 14 games to go, we come into this one on back-to-back -back victories over Red Bull Leipzig and in the last game against Wolfsburg as well. So really fancying our chances of notching up another big win here as we try and stay top of the table here at the Signal. Aduna Park, but I did decide to rest a lot of my players for this game as well, due to the fact we had a game against Arsenal in the Champions League round of 16 first leg, just a couple days later in this very stadium, so I saw that game as the more difficult one, thus decided to rest a lot of my players, but still believed we would be the strongest side, we had the first chance of the game as well, Emre Moore went for goal, but sadly could only hit the post, but then Braunschweig almost scored with a header from just outside the area, what a goal that would have been but Michael Muller made an impressive stop and turned it behind for a corner so we were still deadlocked at nil-nil going into the break in a half where both sides had had one good chance each. And had that Braunschweig goal gone in, that would have been unbelievable. But it was still nil-nil. With 90 minutes to go, we were still deadlocked. I was really struggling to create clear-cut chances in this game other than the one for Moore inside the first 15 minutes. Muller made another great save late on and it was still nil-nil. And there were 10 minutes to go. Diego cannoned one off the crossbar with his weaker left foot before eventually Braunschweig got the ball clear before Pereira pulled a trigger so it was still Dortmund nil a Braunschweig nil and as we went in search of a late winning goal we pushed everyone forward and in stoppage time as Nyman ran forward here for the away side Muller made the save but as you'll see the ball deflected off the turf went into the sky came down again and with just over two minutes left in stoppage time well this was disastrous because Braunschweig would score the goal to surely win them the game and inflict our first league defeat this season and the goal was so bizarre as well there was a goal decision system for the goal where the ball was cleared when it just crossed the line from the guy that put the ball into the goal Nyman he crossed the line and then headed the ball out of the goal it was really really bizarre the goal still it was over the line but imagine had that ball not crossed the line there and he headed the ball off the line from his shot that was going in I've got no idea well I mean I see why you felt the need to touch it because there was a covering defender but like, it was just about to cross the line and then he headed the ball away but it did cross the line, the goal did stand and the game finished, Borussia Dortmund nil. Braunschweig won. So on the back of back-to-back -back victories over Red Bull, Leipzig and Wolfsburg, where we scored four goals against both of those sides, who currently right now are fighting for European places, we lose to a side currently sitting in 17th place, threatened by relegation, and that's that. It's all over. It's finished. It's done. And I can't believe it. The league undefeated streak has finally ended after 20 games. And I've got to say, I'm truly gutted as well, because I've been downplaying it this season. I have mentioned it a couple of times. We are still undefeated in the league, we are still undefeated in the league, we are still undefeated in the league, but I never really said this season we could have an undefeated season in the league, but in the back of my mind, I secretly did believe it was possible, but not anymore, it's all over, Braunschweig of all teams, at home as well, beat us, and that is that, our long unbeaten streak in the Bundesliga is finally over, and we will not go all through the season without recording a single loss, so coming into the second game yesterday here, we will now take on Arsenal, and this was the time for revenge. We take on Arsenal Wenger's side here in the Champions League round of 16 first leg at the Signal Aduna Park, looking to get the win here and just make sure we don't lose once again here in front of our home crowd. But unfortunately, we wouldn't start off the game very well because we had the first chance through Diego Menendez firing one over the bar, but Angel Correa, who was one of my legends in my Hamburg save, my Bundesliga career mode last year, would score an absolute thunderbolt against me from just outside the area and show me what I've been missing in FIFA 17. What a goal there from the former Atletico Madrid striker as he cannons one in off the post and makes it Borussia Dortmund nil, Arsenal 1 and 1-0 soon could have became 2-0 as well just before the break. John Terrell going for goal but Michael Muller making a good save low down to his right hand side and pushing it behind for a corner and from two successive corners we failed to get the ball clear eventually the ball came to Stefan Savic just outside the area here who took it around three yellow shirts and went for goal goal and on the stroke of half time I could not believe my very eyes Borussia Dortmund nil Arsenal 2 and Stefan Savic doubled the lead for the Gunners the goal was so frustrating though he was shielding the ball 
I could not get it off him. He took it round three yellow shirts, then let fly, and the defender rifles one in to make it 2-0 to the Gunners, and we were facing complete disaster here because that was two away goals for the away team now. And of course, as I always say, away goals in European ties, so, so important. Everything was going wrong, and I was under real, real pressure. So 2-0 to Arsenal, and in the second half, we had to respond. And the first chance fell to us as well. Diego trying to get us back in the game, but unfortunately, the goalkeeper made the save, and it was still 2-0. And then just past the hour mark, because we were still trading by two here, we still need to get at least one goal in this game to salvage something from the first 90 minutes over these two legs. It was still 2-0 to Arsenal, but Aubameyang was sent down the left-hand side here. He took it round his man with the step over, got himself inside, and when we look for a goal this season, we know we can rely on one of two players, Diego Menendez or this guy, Aubameyang, who rifles the ball in, makes it 2-1. We halved the deficit, but things were still looking pretty worrying, because as things stand right now, we would still need to go to London in the reverse leg and score at least two goals. So, 2-1, we're back in the game, and later on, Arsenal went for a third goal in this game to try and kill off the tie. They sent a lot of people, uh, people forward here, and as Royce robbed Bellerin, Bellerin got it back, but then he robbed Chamberlain, and from just outside his area, played an unbelievable ball through towards Timo Werner as we went into stoppage time. This was our final chance, and Timo Werner, the former Red Bull Leipzig striker, would rifle the ball in, make it 2-2, and complete what was a much-needed comeback. We were two goals down at the break, facing complete disaster, going to the Emirates knowing we need to score two goals and even at 2-1 we knew that would still be the case but what a fantastic performance from our captain Marco Royce who knows his future here at Dortmund is not secure despite being a bit of a club icon really I've made him captain this year as well he knows that he's declining in stats he's 30 years old now we've got El Shirawi coming in next season on a pre-contract but Marco Royce in the second half with two really important assists first to set up of Amyang who cut inside but for the second goal I mean what a ball by Marco Royce. Honestly, FIFA 15, my player, Docs, would have been proud of that one just outside his penalty area. An unbelievable chip through ball, and Timo Werner did the rest. So, final score 2 2. It's still not a good result. It's still not a good result at all because we still know we will have to score away at the Emirates Stadium. But considering the fact we were two goals down going into the break, put it this way we are on the verge of capitulation, not just in the league this season, but the Champions League too. I'm just glad to know we still have have a good chance of getting through if we can break down Arsenal in London. So not a great performance, two in a row there on the back of two games where we'd scored four goals each, but at least we got a draw in that game and were bailed out in the second half through our strike partnership from Aubameyang and also Timo Werner. But as you can see, as we go into the squad report to end the uh, the second part of uh, today's episode, the second game today's episode here, we can take a look at Diego's stats and as you probably saw by the title, he's finally done it. Yes, Diego Menendez has hit 90 overall. I love it when one of my stars hits 90 at some point in my series. And Menendez has reached 90 at 20 years old. You can see his stats and attributes right now. The guy is just looking absolutely fantastic. He's really got quicker since we promoted him from the academy too. So, so important. His stamina's got really high as well. You can see some of the stats there. Dribbling so high, finishing so high. I think both are on 99 right now. Curve, I think it was 98 too. He's got some unbelievable stats, Diego. And I've got to say, he's so Someone who didn't really do too much for us in the first two seasons. But since the second half of season three, uh, you know, since since then, really, he's just been one of our best players for Middlesbrough and for Borussia Dortmund as well. And I said it before, and I'll say it again. If it wasn't for you guys saying playing through the middle and not playing that wide, we'd never see Diego playing the way he currently is right now. So Menendez up to a 90 overall. Davis, only one rating behind him as well, which is really cool too. It's so important to see Diego finally hit that magic 90 overall. But still coming in to the first game, uh, sorry, the third game even of today's episode on the back of two very disappointing results. We needed to respond against one of my former career mode sides, Hamburg. And just five minutes into the game, what a fantastic start as well. Because Diego Menendez would rifle the ball in and celebrate hitting 90 by scoring his first goal in a couple of games. He sprints through, runs past the last defender, pulls the trigger. And Rene Adler does get a touch on this shot, but there's so much power on it. He's never going to keep it out. He can only deflect the ball into the bottom corner. And Menendez, who hadn't scored in a couple of games, does score here. And the funny thing is, he hit 90 on the back of two games where he hadn't scored or assisted a goal. And as you guys know, this season, in pretty much every game, he's got at least one of those goals or assists. But for this one, he does score just five minutes in and shows everyone.
long way. He's still the best player in this Borussia Dortmund side. But Hamburg would get back on level terms 29 minutes later and 11 minutes before the break here. And what an extraordinary goal it was by Daly Sinkgraven, who made it 1-1 and celebrated on the hoarding to his teammates. And I've got to say, this was unbelievable. I mean, seriously, I thought our second goal against Arsenal was pretty good with that fantastic free ball from Royce. But this one was brilliant. He flicked the ball over his head, volleyed the ball in. But as you can see, it did take a huge deflection off the Hoover Davis to put the ball into the top corner. And in the end, Sinkgraven, despite his fantastic technique and skill and improvisation, does not get to claim the goal. It goes down as an own goal, which is kind of bizarre because the shot was clearly on target. But Davis claims the own goal there. He won't want it, but he gets it. And it's Hamburg 1, Borussia Dortmund 1. So Sinkgraven, despite the fantastic technique, does not get claimed the goal. And it is 1-1 as Hamburg are back on level terms. And that was to score at the break as well. But four minutes after the restart, Hamburg would have reduced to 10 men. In the snow, he's got to go. Sent off. Yes. Maybe he'll be glad to get into the bath, actually. It's cold out here today. And despite Martin Tyler and Alan Smith making light of the situation, Hamburg certainly weren't going to be pleased. They conceded a penalty through Janssen taking down Menendez. He was the last man. Definite right call from the referee toward a penalty and give a red card too to the Swedish centre-half. Aubameyang would stand up and take it and make it 2-1 to Borussia Dortmund as well and fire us back in front against the team now playing with 10 men. So Aubameyang takes the penalty to Menendez wins, puts it into the top corner and these two guys this season, I mean, seriously they are just having their own golden boot race and it's so entertaining to watch so Hamburg 2 Borussia Dortmund 2 with 18 minutes to go though Hamburg would once again draw back on level terms with us and make it 2-2 and once again I've got to say the goal was fantastic Cordoba this time is the one who gets to applaud it and unlike his teammate Sinkgraven does get to claim it and what a goal too he outleaps Jonathan Tarinier chests it and then scissor kick volleys the ball into the bottom corner corner to make it Hamburg 2 Borussia Dortmund 2 and claim a point for the home side because that is how the game finishes and I've got to say in this episode the difficulty seems to be stepped up a little bit there's been a patch which EA have released for FIFA now on PS4 at least and I noticed the difficulty seems to be a lot more improved as well but it was a lot more fun I'll say that much too and 2-2 was the final score we do once again fail to win that's now our third game in a row where we failed to get a win and it's pretty disappointing to notice but as you'll see with the table to end today's episode we're no longer top for the first time in quite some time Borussia Dortmund have been overtaken at the top of the table and with 12 games to go Leverkusen have a one point lead we've now been beaten in the league for the first time our Champions League round of 16 first leg was not a good tie for us and now we slipped into second place as well everyone that thought we were going to have an easy season this season in the Bundesliga think again but that will end today's episode of the FIFA 17 career mode guys so a massive thank you for watching I really hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed today's episode then please do leave a like as likes are of course very much appreciated and they really help channel grow as well much love to you all have a fantastic day and i'll see you for the next episode of career mode very soon